Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Tharp with you on NWAondemand.com for a spectacular matchup for the American Heavyweight Championship. The spoiler, Don Jardine defending against the very dangerous Bruiser Brody, two of the most dangerous competitors ever to step foot in the squared circle. This match was received without audio, wrestling fans, so instead of posting it without any sound whatsoever, we decided to provide a little narration. Referee Bronco Lubich now. Giving the competitors a few last instructions. Bruiser Brody pacing back and forth impatiently, waiting for the bell to ring. The spoiler, of course, very cool, calm, collected. Both of these competitors, extremely tough, tough individuals, should be a spectacular matchup. There again, referee Bronco Lubich giving the competitors some last minute instructions. Bruiser Brody loosening up and Bronco Lubich calling for the bell. Collar and elbow tie-up. Both of these competitors are about equal in height. Brody may have an age or an edge in weight, rather. Spoiler, very effectively using those knees, long legs. It's a classic maneuver by the spoiler, trapping his opponent in the corner. Spoiler now climbing those ropes, utilizing that Height advantage, rocking Brody with an elbow. Bruiser Brody responding. Only the first minute or two, ladies and gentlemen, and this match has degenerated into a brawl between the spoiler and Bruiser Brody. Spoiler now crashed against that top turnbuckle. And Brody now putting the boots to the spoiler. Brody now tearing at the mask, tearing at the face of the spoiler as he trapped, has, his, has him trapped in the corner now. Desperation moved by the spoiler as he rips at the eyes of Bruiser Brody. Double axe handle by the spoiler. Hard left hand into the bread basket. Another X handle to the back of the head as Bruiser Brody now to the floor. Brody now. Pulling the spoiler to the outside of the ring. And into the corner ring post. Bruiser Brody now with a chair. Referee Bronco Lubitsch trying to control this match at this point now. Spoiler with a chair of his own trying to defend himself. Fans in Houston on their feet. Watching rapidly. At this war between Bruiser Brody and the Spoiler now. Spoiler now using a chair. Both of these competitors now fighting over that metal chair. Look at the muscle, muscular definition in the arms and back of Bruiser Brody. Bronco Lubitsch in the middle now. A boot by Brody. And now Brody has the chair. And spoiler catches that chair across the back. Bruiser Brody now very effectively driving those boots into the upper chest of the spoiler. Spoiler now into the ropes. Hard boot into the midsection. Has the spoiler in trouble. Legendary Bruiser Brody now with a body slam. And the patented Bruiser Brody knee drop. One, two, three. And Bruiser Brody takes the first fall in this American heavyweight championship bout. Stay tuned, fans. We'll we'll be back with uh, round uh, two after this. Here we are in the second fall, ladies and gentlemen, back 
for the American Championship. Bruiser Brody now on the offense and the champion. The spoiler very effectively using that elbow now has Brody to his knees. Spoiler now in trouble as well. Again, the spoiler with a knee into the ropes. And the spoiler tries for the claw hold. This is the spoiler's signature maneuver, the claw hold. Brody now effectively blocking the claw as the spoiler on the canvas. Bruiser Brody does not want to get caught in the claw hold of the spoiler now. Spoiler tearing out the throat. That's a blatant choke hold, wrestling fans. Out of Bronco Lubich, the referee out of position. Brody now being driven into that top turnbuckle by the American heavyweight champion. Hard elbow by the spoiler. And now again, spoiler going to the ropes. And again, the spoiler with a knee into the midsection. Snap mare. And the spoiler again going for the claw. High drama wrestling fans as Bruiser Brody tries to fight. The spoiler now. And the spoiler appears to have that claw hold securely locked in to the forehead of Bruiser Brody. Spoiler now backed into the corner now, climbing that turnbuckle. You can see the spoiler now utilizing the ring ropes to gain an advantage, driving that elbow in to the back of the head of Bruiser Brody. Fans on their feet at the Sam Houston Coliseum. Bruiser Brody now trying to fight back. The spoiler is relentless. Bruiser Brody now with a hard right hand to the midsection. And again, Brody blocks that claw hold. Spoiler, trying to catch that claw hold onto the temple, the forehead area of Bruiser Brody. Spoiler now ripping at the back of Bruiser Brody using those nails now ripping at the eyes. The face of Bruiser Brody. Brody blinded now. It's a spoiler driving in a knee. Brody now trying to fight his way out of the turnbuckle. Bruiser Brody in trouble. But he appears to be rallying against the spoiler. Spoiler now effectively stopped by those hard boots. And right hands of Bruiser Frank Brody. Spoiler into the turnbuckles. And Bruiser Brody misses with a hard shoulder now. And the spoiler with the claw hold. The spoiler has that claw hold securely locked in. Brody now with his shoulders on the canvas. Bruiser Brody trying to fight that claw hold. The spoiler now. Look how he utilizes that knee. One, two. And three, it appears that the spoiler has secured the second fall with the claw hold. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, spoiler, the winner of the second fall, the falls are even. We'll be back right after this for the deciding fall. Bruce Tharp back with you on NWA on demand.com for the third and deciding fall for the American Heavyweight Championship. The spoiler, Don Jardine, the defending champion, on the offense against the legendary Bruiser Brody. Hard turnbuckle and has Bruiser Brody staggered and the spoiler climbing to the top rope, dropping a hard elbow against the top of the back of Bruiser Brody. Now choking Brody under the ropes. Spoiler, Don Jardine pulling out all stops. He does not want to lose the American Heavyweight Championship. This match now going to the floor again, ladies and gentlemen. Brody now head first into that steel ring post. 
Brody staggered, trying to get back in the ring. If you notice, ladies and gentlemen, there's no barriers. There are no padding. There is no padding on the ringside floor. Brody now appears to have some sort of a belt. Don't know where he got that, ladies and gentlemen, from underneath the ring, perhaps from a ringside fan. Wrapping that cord. Oh, it's the it's the it's the microphone cord, ladies and gentlemen. Bruiser Brody now choking the spoiler with that microphone cord. Referee Bronco Lubich fighting to get Bruiser Brody away from that foreign object. Brody berserk, ladies and gentlemen, as he tries to choke the life. Now using that microphone to pound the spoiler. Brody now using the ringside microphone as a weapon. Referee Bronco Lubich trying to get it away. Bruiser Brody dangerously close to a disqualification, ladies and gentlemen, driving that boot into the upper chest area of the American champion, the spoiler. Spoiler now trying to fight back again with those knees, but not a whole lot of steam. And a wild looping right hand by the spoiler barely missed the referee. Bruiser Brody now ripping at the eyes of the masked man. Bruiser Brody now going to the mask. Bruiser Brody tearing at the mask, trying to unmask the spoiler for the fans in Houston who have never seen his face. The spoiler dangerously close now to losing that mask. Another desperation maneuver by the spoiler ripping at the eyes of Bruiser Brody. Spoiler now on the canvas, trying to make it to his feet. Hard right hand into the midsection, drops Bruiser Brody. And again, the spoiler very, very effectively going to those ring ropes. And another hard right hand to the midsection. A couple of boots has Bruiser Brody in trouble. This has got to be one of the closest matches I've ever seen. One of the greatest matches ever. The spoiler now missing with a hard right hand. Bruiser Brody now with a comeback of his own. Neither one of these competitors giving quarter. Brody again booting the spoiler hard with those boots. The spoiler now being choked by Bruiser Brody against the ropes. Referee Bronco Lubich clearly losing control of this match. The competitiveness between these two individuals, unbelievable. Bruiser Brody now continuing to go after. Spoiler, got to give the referee Bronco Lubich credit for not calling for a disqualification, letting both of these competitors go at it. This is a championship match. Wrestling fans, the American Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Spoiler now, staggered on the ropes. Brody measuring his opponent. Bronco Lubitsch just standing back. Brody now choking his opponent, but the spoiler now going to the eyes. And another rake of the eyes by the spoiler has Bruiser Brody in trouble. Spoiler now effectively using those fists has Bruiser Brody now on the canvas. And again, those knees choking Bruiser Brody. This has got to be one of the most physical matches I've ever seen on the NWA Network. Such a pleasure to bring these classic matches to the wrestling fans worldwide. The spoiler now with Brody by the hair on the ropes. Referee Bronco Lubitsch trying to break them up. The spoiler now effectively using those elbows. I don't think I've ever seen a match where Bruiser Brody has been in trouble for such a long period. Now the spoiler, again, with that claw hold, pulling Bruiser Brody to the canvas by the tights. 
Trying for a pin now. The spoiler with a little extra leverage. Bronco Lubich out of position. Cannot see the spoiler grabbing onto that middle rope. Actually, that's the top rope, ladies and gentlemen. As he is applying more pressure onto that claw hold, trying to position Bruiser Brody into a pinning predicament. The spoiler now really applying the pressure on that claw hold. Bruiser Brody close to submission, ladies and gentlemen. He does not want to give up. Trying to fight his way to his feet. The fans in the Sam Houston Coliseum on their feet, cheering for Bruiser Brody to break out of the spoiler's claw hold again. The spoiler using those ring ropes to great advantage and effectiveness, but Brody turns it into a body slam. Another devastating knee drop. One, two, three, and it's all over, ladies and gentlemen. We have a new champion. A new champion, ladies and gentlemen, Bruiser Brody is the new NWA American heavyweight champion, having defeated the spoiler, the fans in Houston, on their feet. What a spectacular match this was, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us on NWAondemand.com. Here with me now is the new U.S. American heavyweight champion, the man who just this few moments ago defeated the spoiler in a tremendous battle and the belt won proudly over his shoulder, Bruiser Brody. New but old champion, Paul. If you remember when I came here three and a half years ago, I owned this belt. And in my mind, every day since the first day I come here, I still own the belt. It was only on loan and I only claimed what rightfully belonged to me. And I want to tell you that Bruiser Brody has it on loan right now because he will be facing the strongest man in wrestling, Ken Patera, here next Friday night. The winner will be the U.S. American champion, and the winner will get a positive contract to face world's heavyweight champion, Harley Race, here. Paul, I made it clear to you and to everybody here in Houston, everybody in Texas, and everybody from New York to Los Angeles that I ain't going to keep my big yap shut until I get back in that ring and give Harley Race what he duly deserves and get what belongs rightfully to me, and that's the NWA belt. And when I go in the ring against Ken Patera, he may be the strongest man in the world to you and all those people out there, but I sure in hell didn't see him put my arm down in no arm wrestling match. Mm -hmm. If you're the strongest man in the world, then you do just about what you want in the ring. Everybody out there was a witness to it, and Patera didn't do anything but what I wanted him to do when he was in the ring with me. And if he has one small thought in his head that he thinks he's going to destroy what I worked over one solid year for right here in Houston, he's completely local. I told everybody out there, Harley Race belongs to me. The world's strongest man ain't going to get Harley Race. The world's craziest man ain't going to get Harley Race. Nobody going to get him but me. And when Pintera comes out here and tells you through his big mouth manager, James Dillon, that he is man enough to come out here and put his neck breaker on people and cripple them, you can believe it, but I don't believe it. And I know deep in Harley Race's mind, he'd like to believe it, but it ain't going to happen. I'm the man that's going to beat the world's strongest man, and I'm the man that's going to finally get Harley Race right where he belongs, in the middle of that ring. Bruiser Brody, new U.S. American heavyweight champion who will face world's strongest man, Ken Patera, here in the Sam Houston Coliseum next Friday night. This will be a sensational battle. Don't miss it. We'll be back with you in just a moment. <laughs> 